This is a special report from ABC News Digital. Hello, everyone. I'm Devin Dwyer in Washington, D.C. with this ABC News Digital Live event. There's a new owner of one of Princess Diana's gowns. This one here, take a look, considered one of the most ornate and romantic of her frocks. She liked this one so much, she apparently wore it more than once. ABC's Lama Hassan has been following the auction today in London and joins us, <laughs> joins us now from there. Lama, it's great to see you. Thanks so much. Fill us in on how the dress did. It just cleared the auction block. Yeah, it, it absolutely, and it just did. We don't really have that much information right now, apart from that it cost 85,000. We don't know if, it, if that's dollars or uh, pounds, but I'm assuming it's pounds. It was um, set to sell for about $130,000. But as you said, this is Princess Diana's, one of her most iconic dresses, one of her most beautiful ball gowns that she loved so much. You know, if you go back and look at um, some of the uh, meetings that she's had with presidents, some of the premieres that she's gone to, she's worn this dress and she loved it so much that it wasn't actually made for her. So that when she saw it at a Red Cross uh, fashion event, a charity event that was uh, given by the designers themselves, that's uh, David and Elizabeth Emanuel, she loved it so much and she, and she said, you know, I have to have it. So it wasn't actually custom made for her, but that's when she liked it. And that was um, in about 1986 that happened. All right, 1986, we're just hearing now that we're on with you, Lama, that it sold for about 85,000 pounds or, uh, or thereabouts uh, on the block there. But uh, one of the also interesting facts here, this gown, one of her favorites, as you said, uh, it may have been bought right off the rack. Is that true? Yeah, that's exactly right. And just uh, to update you, so that's 85,000 pounds is about $140,000. So more or less within the expected range, if you like, of how much it was going to sell for. But yeah, I mean, she was at this, um, she saw this dress that was designed by David and Elizabeth Emanuel at this charity event. It was one of 12 and she set her sights on it and she really liked it and she just bought it off the rack. And we were told by the um, auctioneer herself that it was a perfect size 10, that's a UK 10. I'm I'm guessing that's about four or six um, US. I'm not quite sure. I could be wrong, so don't quote, don't quote me on that. <laughs> but you know, it just fit her so well. It fit her so well. But yes, it's one of her favorites. And uh, again, you know, if you look at uh, some of the stills, the images of her wearing it, she just looks every inch the princess. I'm sure you'll agree with me. <laughs> she does indeed. She looks very princessly in the in the gown and very 1980s, uh, as you said, designed back in 86, one of 12. Tell us a little bit more about the Emanuels. Uh, how famous are they as dress designers and why was she why were they one of her favorites? Oh, Devin, I bet you know this little factoid that I'm about to tell you, but David um, and Elizabeth Emanuel were one of her favorite designers. They're, of course, very famous for creating that fairy tale wedding dress of hers. You know, who could forget that when she was walking down the aisle? Everybody could see her um, in the church. So they're famous for that. But she, I interviewed Elizabeth Emanuel uh, a couple of years ago, and she said that she, they had a great working relationship. She, she Diana trusted them. Um, um, she put her faith in them and, you know, they grew very close together that not only did uh, they design her wedding dress, but also other items of clothing, her mater uh, maternity wear, for example. And also when she went away on state visits and stuff like that, they also uh, uh, designed gowns uh, and blouses and stuff like that that uh, Princess Diana would wear. So they had a very good working relationship, a close working relationship. And, you know, she trusted them and she felt safe in their hands, if you like. So much more than a dress here. I mean, uh, the, the, the lucky buyer, again, just hearing now about $140,000 uh, for this favorite uh, of Diana's, getting uh, a very sentimental item, a very personal item to her. Uh, and we also understand it comes with some accessories. Yes, so multifunctional, and, and that's exactly what she did with it. You know, sometimes she'd wear, because it comes with a headband, um, it also comes with detachable sleeves and a petticoat. So, you know, it depends on where she's going. So she would, it's interchangeable. So you get more than one wear out of it, if you like. Uh, but it's just beautiful if you look at it. If you look at the details, it's very intricately designed. It's got um, diamond encrusted details as well as uh, little pearl embellishments. So, 
the auctioneer told us that you know if you sat a little girl down and told her to draw what a princess should look like or what kind of dress she should wear that's exactly what she would come up with and that's and that really is and it, and it comes across as this like fairy tale dress and she carries it off so well and it it just kind of embodies the style of the 1980s if if you look at it closely of course ha, you know that don't you that's, that's right it's a beautiful Deep gown conscious <laughs> Before we let you go, Lama, what do we know about the person who bought it? Do we know who this uh, person is? Do you know, we don't at the moment, but a lot of times, it wouldn't surprise me if we don't, because a lot of times they're silent. Um, all we know is that uh, this was a bid that was made, uh, that was made uh, via a phone call at this point in time. That's all we know right now. But again, you know, with so, with so many of these auctions, um, some of the buyers are silent. So it wouldn't surprise me if we don't find out many details, or maybe we will further down um, a few years from now. All right, ABC's Lama Hassan in our London bureau on the Princess Diana gown beat today. Thank you so much, Lama. It's always great to chat with you. <laughs> this has been an ABC News special live event. I'm Devin Dwyer in Washington. Thanks for watching.